All right, today we're gonna look at a 1962 Austin Mini Countryman. It's for sale. It's $18,000 and it's a really clean example of a low mile that's got 37,000 original miles on it. And this is a clean little car. Now, a lot of times people call these estates, wagons, countrymen's, travelers, shooting brake, long roof, but we just call it a Woody. This is a 62 Austin Mini Woody, also known as Countryman. And uh, it's for sale, 18,000. I say the price a lot so people won't keep asking me. It's $18,000. And let's go over some of the features. You know, they built about 108,000 uh, Mini Travelers, Estates, Wagons, uh, from 60 to 69, I think. This is a 62, which means it has the external fuel tank. It's not internal. It has, of course, the barn doors, and it is straight and clean. Look at this. There's no rust in this car. I mean, this is a really nice original example. It has the original 850 motor and gearbox in it with the magic wand shifter, which is goofy because I'm going to take you for a ride and show you that. Um, we put a new rear subframe in it, a new gas tank. Um, we did the brakes, uh, took the drum brakes off the front. It has Cooper S disc brakes on the front. So if you want to keep it original, but not when it comes to brakes. Put the disc brakes on. That makes all the difference in the world. I really like the disc brakes. Um, we've known this car for a long time. My old buddy Rick Terrell used to own this car. It's lived in Hawaii. It's lived in Japan. It's lived in Washington. And now it resides in Oregon or soon to be your state. And even in California because it's a 62. So California buyers, this you can have because California doesn't go by the 25 year rule. This is plenty old. Come on around here. Let's look at some more of this. The wheels have been powder coated. It has the original hubcaps. It has new tires. Those are the, uh, um, what are they? Power Star from Kumo. Those are Kumo Power Star tires. Uh, it is right hand drive, has the original steering wheel, even the really cool old school BMC floor mats. Uh, those are neat. I like those rubber floor mats. Um, it has the gray fleck interior with the single gauge with the speedometer and the gas gauge in it, and that's it. I mean, that's all you get. Uh, I really love these door pulls. They're so cool. This is old school. Um, you, can, you can fit your gin bottle. <laughs> I say that because Sir Leonard Lord told Alec Isagonis, go ahead and build the Mini under one condition. The door pocket must fit my gin. <laughs> I'm not joking, he actually made that a requirement. So, Sir Leonard Lord, you got your gin bottle in your door pocket. Okay, come on around here and let's look at the engine. I, I love the color of this thing. Um, it is just darling as all get out. So there you have the Cooper S brake master cylinder with metal caps, single inch and a quarter SU carburetor with the factory air cleaner. Uh, it's all original. I mean, we've got a generator with a voltage regulator. Uh, the charging system works, the, all the electrics work, turn signals, headlights, everything works. Um, we flushed the cooling system, changed the oil, adjusted the valves. Uh, of course, new brakes with all new hydraulics in there. And um, it's got these really cool old school Lucas headlamps, matching, of course, and uh, grill buttons. You know, that wasn't original, but sure makes it easy taking the grill in and out. Anyway, this is for sale. It's $18,000. Let's go for a ride. All righty then, here we go, ho, ho, ho. Okay, this is your ride along in a 1962 Austin Mini Countryman Woody. All right, look at the cool floor start. So what I did was I put it in neutral, I pulled the choke, and I'm gonna push the button. Oh, <laughs> got to turn the key on. <laughs> okay, we've got an oil pressure light. We've got our engine ignition light, which is basically a charge light. If the light goes off, we're charging. If the light stays on, it's not charging. Uh, we got an accurate fuel gauge. It's working. I know this because I tested it. And uh, we've got an accurate speedometer with 37,742 miles on it since 1962. That is remarkable. Oh, we're so cold. I haven't seen any oil leaks. It doesn't smoke. 
Uh, it is an 850 and it goes zero to 60 in 33.2 seconds. <laughs> Top speed's probably 75 miles an hour. Cruises on the freeway at 55, 60 all day long and sips the gas doing it. It's so nice. The 850s are a very reliable motor. You can't break them. Um, the only drawback is they just don't make very much power. Um, so the wagon or estate traveler Woody is 84 inches, 84 inches. The saloon, the standard mini is 80 inches. This is four inches longer. Overall length, bumper to bumper on the saloon is 10 feet. Bumper to bumper on these is 11 feet. I love the folding rear seat. Now this seat, fold, this base folds up and this folds down to make a huge cargo area. My wife and I go to Costco in these things. We can get more in this than we can a modern Mini. <laughs> yeah, we've had people actually photograph us and film us putting all of the stuff in one of these in the Costco parking lot. We had a kind of a crowd of people standing around. <laughs> they're going, there's no way they're getting all that stuff in there. And we did. It was funny. This has the classic uh, push button windshield squirters. You pump, 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 and it squirts a little water on the glass. It's it's not very much. It's just a, it's a goofy little thing. 1962, remember? And for you youngsters out there, this has a floor button high beam switch. So you, you push this button with your foot and that's the high beams. Very cool. It has a little blue indicator at the top of the speedometer with the H slash beam for high beam. This is a three synchro magic wand. You have to come to a complete stop to put it in first gear. Otherwise it crunches. This is comfortable. It has new shocks on it. New brakes, Cooper S disc brakes, are outstanding. This is a reliable, clean, original 1962 Woody for $18,000 really can't beat that. You can't build one for that. And this one hasn't been rebuilt. It's all original. Complete stop. First gear. Here we go. Power! I am feeling a little bit of a gearbox crunch between the gears. If you're slow, It'll slide in there, but if you jam it in like I just did, it's going to go crunk. That just tells me that the synchros or bulk rings are showing their age. 37,000 miles, I'm sure it hasn't been rebuilt. Now, these magic wands have one engine stabilizer on the top. And that's not enough. And I'm feeling this move around a bit. I highly suggest whoever buys this car to add the left and right lower engine stabilizers. I don't like the one that goes on the thermostat housing by the radiator. I think it's ugly. It doesn't look correct. But you can hide the ones underneath on the left and right lower engine stabilizers. This car would really benefit from those. See, there's a little bit of a crunch. I mean, you can learn to drive it and it won't do that. Um, just being honest with you. This is a great car. It's got the cute uh, binnacle mirrors on the, on the fenders. Uh, very Japanese. They love those. Now this car did live in Japan at one time. It comes with the Japanese license plates. They're in this folder right here. All right, look at that. There's the Japanese plates. There's some photos in here of it in Japan too. When we come to a stop at the shop, I'll show you the title and the heritage certificate and all that good stuff.
I love this rear view mirror. This rear view mirror is, uh, and there's no uh, holder or uh, border around the outside. It's just a little piece of glass that's held on with two fingers. It's so cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergy. I also like these uh, window locks. These are the original old school window locks with the white gaskets. That's really cool. Uh, those are so hard to find and so uh, coveted. They're very sought after. The chrome in this car is bright and shiny. Um, it, it's just, everything's there. Even these draft excluders uh, are original to this car. Look how old they are and they work. Everything works. Look at this. It's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the folder. Let's see what we got in here. So, here's a clean Washington title, 1962 Austin. It's got the uh, VIN number here. This is the heritage certificate. We've got an Austin Mini Countryman, chassis number AAW7-202779. The engine number is there and matching. The body number is there and matching. Right hand drive home market, color is smoke gray. The trim is dark gray and dove gray. Uh, no hot top uh, contrasting color, that is not applicable. Date of build, its birthday was January 16th, 1962. The destination dealer was Premier Motor Company Limited in Birmingham. Birmingham. Um, details of factory fitted equipment, heater, front overriders, wood trim. Now that wood trim I believe is ash. Uh, other information, the registration mark 217 FOL quoted by you was issued in Birmingham. Ah, issued to my friend Rick Terrell. Rick, if you're out there, buddy, call me. Here's your old car. Uh, date of issue, 27th, 27th of January, 2005. That's when he uh, ordered this heritage certificate. Anyway, um, it has the Washington plates, the uh, Japanese plates, a ton of receipts. The work we did on it, we did... Uh, $2,339 worth of work on this car. Uh, the original, oh look, some photographs. And look at this. Th I think this is the original uh, registration papers from England. Yes, this is the original registration book with all the tax office stamps. Look at this. Oh, it even has that, even has that old smell. Oh, registration booklet. Anyway, this is some fun stuff. Oh. Look, Yokohama Historic Car Day. And just more receipts and more goods. Anyway, this is your 1962 Austin Mini Countryman that's turnkey, ready to drive home for $18,000. Give me a call. Take this one home. All right, see you on the next one.